Hello, Cheap Skaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheap Skates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up, and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Have you heard of the rule of half? It's something we cheap skaters have been talking about and following since the beginning of the Cheap Skates Club. I've been following the rule of half even longer. Now, it's a simple trick that can save you a bundle of money, more than half. Now, I dilute just about everything that we use. Why? Well, because most things can be diluted up to half and still give the same excellent results. Case in point is dishwashing detergent. Now, I buy the Tandel Ultra Concentrate dishwashing detergent from Aldi. I buy six bottles a year and I dilute each bottle 50-50 with cool water. That gives me 12 bottles for the price of six. And that is more than enough to last me for dishwashing for a year. But I take it a step further because I also add 500 grams of bicarb soda to the dishwashing powder that I buy to stretch it. So that 1.5 kilos of powder then gives me 90 washes. That's two level teaspoons per load. And yes, I do measure it. There is a spoon in the dishwasher powder container. That means that I only need to buy four bottles of dishwasher powder a year. That's a saving overall of $27.95. Now, that's because I don't buy a branded named dishwasher powder. I buy a Coles brand dishwasher powder. And I buy bicarb in bulk. Saves a bundle of money. Gives excellent results. Shampoo and conditioner in our bathrooms are diluted 50-50 with water. And then they're dispensed with a pump. One pump for short hair like mine, two pumps for long hair like Hannah's. I also dilute groceries. I use half the quantity of mints in a recipe and I bulk it out with either rolled oats, TVP, rice, grated veggies, whatever I have, or a combination of all of them. I add stock to dilute soup. I add milk to salad dressing and mayonnaise to dilute it. I add breadcrumbs to grated cheese for topping casseroles and um, pasta bakes. There are so many ways you can stretch your groceries when you get creative with the rule of half. Baking is diluted too. Biscuits, no more than two teaspoons of dough rolled and flattened. They don't need to be huge. I use the smaller cutter to make scones. When I make a slice, it's cut into three centimetre squares. That gives me 15 pieces from one slice tray. Now, that's three more than most recipes will give as the number of serves. Yes, the portions are smaller, but we don't need to eat quite so much of that sweet stuff anyway. So better for our health better for our grocery budget. Diluting groceries saves a lot of money and no, I don't care what anyone says, it is not being mean. It is, however, frowned upon by manufacturers and grocers and I have been told in person that they don't like me sharing the rule of half and that's absolutely fine. They don't have to. They're not living on my grocery budget they're not struggling to find what they need when they need it. And they're not living my life. If they were, they'd be following the rule of half and loving it. I dilute tea or tea bags. And I think I explained this um, a few shows ago by using them over and over. I use a fresh tea bag for two cups of tea. And then I simply use the two tea bags 
pour another two or three cups of tea throughout the day. I just let it brew a bit longer and that's fine because I often get sidetracked anyway and I like strong tea. But two tea bags of the tea I use, 32 cents. Five cups of makes five cups of tea, 6.4 cents per cup. I can afford that. Look, the rule of half works for most things. Marketing has brainwashed us into thinking we need to use lots of everything, that more is better. Um, if we don't use, you know, a half a cup of powder, our clothes won't be clean, or we don't use, you know, the full squirt of dishwashing liquid, our dishes won't be clean, or we don't use the full amount of mince, the recipe won't be as good. And that's just rubbish, absolute rubbish. And speaking of rubbish, I get at least two bins full from the bin liners. Now, if the bin liners are dry and hole free, they get used again. Um, I do it with the baking paper too. It's reused over and over until it just crumbles away. It gets wiped and dried and folded carefully after each use until it is so brown and crumbly it can't be used anymore. Can you see how easy it is to follow the 50-50 rule, the rule of half? Look around you. What things do you have that can be safely and easily cut in half or used, diluted by half? Now, put in a disclaimer here. If I dilute something and it isn't just as good, then I don't bother again. But I always try because I just love getting double the groceries for half the cost. Before I go, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click that bell and select how often you'd like to be notified of new videos on our channel. It helps YouTube. But more importantly, it helps our channel to be recognised more easily. And the more easy it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy world. Happy cheap skating, everyone.